My name is uh, Mahmoud Ali, 25 years old. Born in uh, Holland, the Netherlands. My parents from Somalia. Young driving instructor. Plays football in the sixth division, which is not professional yet. And goes and travels around the world to play for his national team. At the time, obviously, growing up in Holland, obviously, I, would, well, I wanted to have a professional contract. And I knew I had the ability, it just it, it didn't work out for me, you know, it didn't work out for me. Oh. Now, obviously, I play in, in, in Manchester, yeah, a uh, team called Kurz and Ashton. Um, Local team for me, to be honest, is about 15 minutes from my house, so uh, for me that's quite ideal, you know. Um, the league that I play now is the sixth division, yeah, it's a semi-professional league. Uh, there is some professional teams in, in our league that, you know, that are full-time. They, they train every single day. The team that I'm playing at the moment currently is, uh, is, is, is part-time. I'm playing currently, because in Ashton I had a trial there this summer, I just done the one before. I went there in the summer, obviously, I made sure I was ready, I was fit and, you know, uh, I got the opportunity. I'm, I'm really grateful for, for, for the manager that gave me the opportunity. Mo's a player who's um, a manager's dream, 100% commitment every week. You get a lad who will give everything to you, he'll tackle anybody, he'll, he'll hold his ground and not submit to anybody even if they're twice the size of him. So we have a good relationship, obviously me being a goalkeeper and him being a defender, he's solid and yeah, I like it when he's playing, yeah definitely. He's an international player, what, what more can you ask for? And... How did I do, join the Somali national team? Um, it all kind of started with my older brother, to be fair. He made his debut back in 2012. In 2015, there was uh, games coming up for the World Cup qualifiers. And obviously he got invited again to, to go and play. And at that time, I was ready to play for the national team. He made the federation aware about myself and they wanted to see me play. He invited me back in 2015 for the World Cup qualifiers against Niger. Uh, they got in touch with me and obviously it was an honour for me to, you know, to get the call up again. You know, I was very positive going into those two games against Zimbabwe. And at the other end, Somalia with the, the cross here, there's the header, oh I don't believe it, I don't believe it, Somalia have found the back of the net, that is quite incredible. That moment, you know, it was, it was an amazing feeling, the celebration on the pitch, you know, me and my brother having like a you know, share like that brother, sibling, family moment on the pitch with him, it was, it was amazing. When that final whistle went, it was, it was the best feeling I've ever experienced in football in my career so far. I didn't actually know that they had never actually won ever in a World Cup or um, you know, uh, African Cup of Nations qualifying game. So, so when we got back to the hotel, it was just, you know, as soon as he connected the Wi-Fi there, it was just the phone was just booming. Social media was like Twitter, Instagram, you know. Um, Somali was trending all over Facebook, you know. Um, we are legends, like we have made history. I'm very proud, you know, to to be given the opportunity to play for my country and um, to you know represent my country on an international stage, you know. Good morning. Yeah, we've got my first driving lesson today and uh, I'm going to take this with me, so let's go. So now we're just on our way to uh, my first client um, and uh, today's lesson we're going to do some uh, manoeuvres so I'll be teaching her how to park. We don't actually have an office, I'm just really doing this part time so I can, I can focus on, on my football as well. So. Uh, there's no need for me to, to invest in an office. My older brother's friends, 
My brother was living in Holland, in Holland at the time. He was trying to look after me a little bit, you know, he was taking me to football places in the beginning, you know, playing football with him every Friday. That friend, he owns his own driving school. So he's obviously come up with the opportunity. He's come to my house and we sat down with him and my family. He's seen those qualities in me and he's come with the opportunity to me. And I'm really grateful for that because, you know, uh, my life has, it was a life changing moment to be quite fair. Okay, we're gonna start from here then, okay? At the end of the road, you can turn right, please, okay? Imagine this is your driving test today, okay? All right? This guy is helping me, an instructor, too much help. Yeah, he's good, an instructor, respect and smiling. It was never my aim to, to become a full-time driving instructor, you know? This is, for me, is an ideal job to, to even focus on my football a bit more, yeah? I can get paid good money if I work full time. But like I said, that was never my aim. My aim is, is, is still to pursue a career in football. I invest a lot of time in myself because, you know, I'm at the right age now, I'm 25, and there's not, you know, a lot of time left for me, you know, and I go to the gym a lot, you know, I've, I've got a personal trainer as well that, you know, that, that helps me to, to get the better out of myself and to, that, that pushes me to, to get myself ready for the next step. You know, I want to make sure that I do everything that I can possibly do and, um, and see where that leads to. And if, if that is a professional contract, you know, I'll be extremely happy, I'll be extremely proud. And I'm just excited to see what, what the future holds because a Somali international is playing in the sixth division. I'm open as well to, to you know to, to to maybe get an adventure you know across the borders and you know I think I will I will do well I will do well with my ex experience what I've built up so far and um, you know there's a lot more to to explore.